Hello everyone, my name is Zacharan and welcome back to another video, another Path of Exile video. In this video, I'm just going to be talking about a few things relating to uh, the new league, the new endgame expansion, and my starter build, which is zombies. Uh, well, not just zombies, it's spectres, zombies, skeletons, you name it, it's the summoner build. So, if you're only interested in the starter build, I'll have a, a timestamp in the description, just go straight there. Otherwise, if you want to hear me talk about the league, then feel free to carry on. So, firstly, this league is... Ritual League. So in Ritual League, every zone will have three to four, I uh, haven't seen more than four and I haven't seen less than three, uh, ritual circles in the area. Now you kill the monsters inside the area and you can then select or click on the ritual to start it and it will resurrect these monsters and you fight them again. And the more monsters you kill, the more points you get and you can use those points to buy any range of items from currency to uniques to just fossils everything anything in the game you can buy it and the fantastic thing is so the lesser items will have a lower cost and the more rare and unique items will have a higher cost and if you cannot afford it you can defer it which is fantastic uh, so what you do is you pay a small portion of the total cost to defer it to the next time you find an altar or not necessarily the next time sometimes you'll find a couple altars and you won't see it but it'll pop up eventually and it'll be cheaper uh, thanks to your deferral and you can keep doing that until you can afford it So if you get a headhunter or a mirror or whatever item and you can't afford it keep deferring it until you can I've done that so far. I've got myself a level 4 enlighten, which is great I'm currently deferring to get a tier 15 beachhead, which is going to give me a lot of XP. So I'm looking forward to that one um, Next point. I think this league is fantastic for SSF. It is the first time that I am playing SSF and just my luck in the first time I ever play SSF, not only do I get like three exalts within the first 24 hours of my character, but I also got a Doctor Divination card. For those of you who don't know what that is, it gives you uh, the Headhunter, which is the rarest or most sought after unique item in the game, most likely. So basically what I did is I actually then ported that over to the Standard Trade League and uh, I'm leaving it there to sell if I ever do move across because I know I'm definitely not going to find enough to get a full set. Um, another thing I really like about this league is that it's not blocked behind, okay, you need to have this item to do it. You know, like in Heist, you need to have the Rogue Markers, otherwise you couldn't do the Heists. And sure, they were fairly easy to get, but if you're doing like the Grand Heists, you needed a ton of them. And in Ritual, you don't need any amount of anything to do the Rituals. You just go along, you do them, you get good shit. It's fantastic. I love it. So, yeah, that's my short little uh, input on Ritual League. So... Next, Echoes of the Atlas, the new endgame expansion. Uh, my favorite endgame expansion so far, to be honest. It's much simpler, easier, uh, more fun, more intuitive than Conquerors of the Atlas. Conquerors of the Atlas, I find, unless you watch a YouTube video explaining exactly the best way to go through it to get your watch stones and progress, you're probably going to fuck up your Atlas. Um, Echoes of the Atlas, however, you just run maps. It's that simple. Just run maps. Maven will spawn. Maven is basically this uh, childlike being, I don't know if she was like the eldest lover or something, or a mentor, all we know is that she is powerful, and basically once you've done a few maps, and you've killed some bosses, eventually, you'll get, a uh, Maven will show up and watch you fight the bosses, and she'll give you an orb that basically becomes a permanent attachment to your map device, and it lets you summon her to watch whatever map boss you choose, so once you in each zone it starts off with three bosses and then you can once you've had maven view those three bosses you can then travel to her area and fight those three bosses all at once and then it goes up all the way to ten bosses so once you do three it resets to four to five so on and so forth and what i really like about this is the customization you can if you want to fight the easy bosses you can fight the easy bosses if you want to fight the difficult bosses you can fight the difficult bosses one thing i do want to do once i get to ten I want to go for the maps that have the most bosses in them, so the ones that have the warbands in them, for example, or like groups of exiles and groups of bosses, not just single bosses, because I think they'll be absolute mayhem, which sounds like a lot of fun to me. Um, yeah, it's really enjoyable, really easy. Um, another nice thing that they've added now is the Atlas now has skill trees. Yes, Path of Exile, the game with the most skill trees, has added yet another skill tree. Uh, soon it'll be called Path of Skill Trees, most likely. Um, and basically what these skill trees allow you to do is you can 
have more control over the things that appear in your atlas. So you have skill trees that give you more breaches, more blights, more parandus, more anything basically. Any past league encounter that has now become a permanent addition to the game that you have a chance to find in maps, you can now augment it so that not only is it more common, but it gains bonus stats like increased chance to find this particular thing. You know, like Kadiro Parandus has a high chance to spawn, or you get more master favor for Nico if it's a self fight one, or you'll get more self fight, etc. So there's a lot of customization. I'm not going to go into depth with that because I don't want to make this too long of a video. Um, but yeah, it's fantastic. Well done, GGG. I think that extra month that you delayed the patch because of Cyberpunk, you know, I think it was great. It was fantastic. All right, now we've come to the next section of the video, which is minions as a starter league or a starter build for the league. Do I recommend it? Yes, 10 out of 10. Super easy to level. Um, basic, and then once you get specters as well, it's just, it's, you just snowball through the game. Everything's easy. I was very lucky in that I, my very first Vol Orb, by then I was already using Summoned Skeletons, and I was like, hmm, let me Vol it, and I got Vol Summoned Skeletons, which is insane. It is fantastic. You get, what, like, 30-something uh, total? Yeah, 39 Skeletons. It's, it's great. Wonderful. I love it. It carried me through on my boss fights for the acts, from, like, yeah, all of the acts. It was brilliant. Um, the damage is fantastic with minimal investment, because you've got so much going on. You've got damage from your spectres, your zombies, your carrying golem, your skeletons, and a nice unique that I picked up, Siege Breaker. Your minions spread caustic ground on death, dealing 20% of their max life as chaos damage per second, which is great. Um, I'm not sure how long it lasts, it doesn't say how long it does last. And then also, 5% chance to taunt on hit with their attacks. Now, taunting means enemies you taunt only target you, so when you have 8 or 9 skeletons, three spectres, eight zombies, a carrying golem, um, 39 summoned skeletons, and they're all attacking the boss. With that 5%, it's basically a 100% chance that that boss is always going to be taunted by one of your minions, which means as long as you avoid the big choreographed slams and big attacks that have huge AoE, the boss will not target you. It is brilliant for um, basically being tanky in survival. Survi survivally, so sur you survive, basically. Um, got a nice fancy, a nice big health pool, five and a half thousand, a thousand ES, the ES basically may as well not exist, it gets chonked away all the time. Um, as for my gear, I've just got a five link with, uh, some life, it's nothing fantastic, nothing special. I've got a very meh plus one destructive minion gems home, uh, helm with my zombies in it. So I've got level 22 zombies, and then... My Spectre is level 21, obviously, because 19 gem and plus 2 to gems from the skill tree. As for the skill tree, what you want to do early game is pick up some minion damage over there, minion damage over there, head up to that over there, then start grabbing some life, some more life, and then you just pick up all the minion nodes. So, minions there. Um, this I got later, and you got that like after level 80, and that as well. Um, once you've got that over there, Go for Dark Arts, but just because in the early game you're not full, you're not fully using minions, if you're still using some sort of spell to go along with it, it is good to use. Then you come down, you're going to want to get some minion survivability, because your minions need to survive. And then it's a very flexible tree, the rest is up to you. If you want to go for more life, go for more life. If you want to go for more minion damage, go for more minion damage. I have picked up, as you can see, some minion life nodes as well. Um, I'll get that one next. Just because of the belt I have, that basically they deal with the maximum life as damage per second. It's really good, so what you can do is, see here if I summon these skeletons, when I summon new ones and they die, they just keep on dropping their course to ground. So, on a boss or any item, any monster that's already giving you trouble, you can just spam that underneath them. Unfortunately, course to ground does not stack. I wish it did, but it doesn't. Um, so, but still, it's a decent amount of damage. Uh, I think it's like an extra 8,000 DPS, which isn't massive, but hey, it's better than nothing. Um, I've had some really good items. I mean, these I got from a ritual, which I don't make use of the attack with main hand and offhand things, so that's irrelevant to me. But life, good resistances, it's a nice pair of gloves. Uh, the rest of my gear is really nothing special. 
just you know some plain old life and resistances everywhere my resistances are very easily capped um i probably could do with a bit more fire but i've got a ton of cold <laughs> and uh, quite a bit of lightning as well right now how can you improve this build very easily firstly uh you can get a uh, shaper or elder helmet that basically turns this into like a six or seven link item like you can get a whole bunch of stuff that that you can get minion damage on the helm and a whole bunch of extra stuff on the helm plus the plus one that's really good so if you're in a trade league go for that you can get a plus two wand very easily with corroded shuddering jagged and metallic fossils if you put those in a four socket resonator you have a one in 12 chance of getting a plus one to minion and plus one to all gems uh wand which is basically your plus two to minions if you can get that plus the plus two on the tree um you can have a you can have a fourth spectre summoned and i think also a ninth zombie so it's it's a really big upgrade that you can go for that will give you a lot more damage as for my links on spectre i've got ray spectre minion damage conch effect spell echo elemental focus the conch effect i just went for because i had a blue socket and it does give a lot of damage and i don't really worry about it not having as much area of effect because my zombies and skeletons do a lot of damage for aoe as well an item that i would love to get and i'm going to try to get that will be a huge boost to the uh, damage on this build is dead reckoning what dead reckoning does is if you have i think 40 intelligence in radius it's a threshold jewel you can summon not just skeleton warriors but skeleton mages it's up to 15 skeleton mages you can summon now skeleton mages just got buffed to hell and back um this patch so they do a lot of damage if you can get that item i don't know how expensive it is on trade league definitely go for it i'm gonna try and you know scour and chan oh that's not chance and chance and try to actually get one but so far no luck but that's what i'm gonna try to do because i think it'll be a huge boost to the dps of the build all right and that's it that's the end of the video uh a short video i hope basically just me giving my opinion my thoughts on what it's like one week into this new patch loving it it's fantastic the league's great the expansion's great my character's great everything's great um currency wise i've made a decent amount nothing fancy uh i don't have anything to use those on yet but yeah thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed hope you uh learned a bit if you want to do minions go for it i highly recommend it if you're considering it just do it um and yeah, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video, have a wonderful weekend, and goodbye.